Hey loves, it's your girl April. Hey divas, hey divos, it's your girl April. Ooh, that sounds kind of cool. I'm like on a rhyming mood, okay? I'm sorry. And today, we're about to do a video for bestlacewigs.com. I know you guys are probably very familiar with them as I am, and I have been working with them for many of a years. So this is the box that you get all of your good stuff in. It's just a white box. I'm pretty sure you guys are not really concerned about it. But you do get like a brush inside, a wig cap, and let's see, collect cash back. Well, you can earn $20 back well, um, if you make a YouTube video with best lace wigs hair so if you are someone who likes to buy wigs um likes to spend your money honey then definitely go ahead and make a video even if you don't have a youtube channel make one and then post your video up or you could maybe you could post it up on like facebook or something like that then you know send them a link and you get twenty dollars back everybody likes twenty dollars um i like money in general so like i mean if you want to give me more than that i'm i'm good for that too you know what i'm saying so like you know hey best lace wig's been around for a long time like for reals for reals they've been around for 13 years i was not even aware that they were as around for that long so of course their 13 year anniversary is this august i did not know that they were around for 13 daggone years like have lace wigs been out for 13 years already i don't even remember when lace wigs started but hey listen it is what it is 13 years is a really good time that's a good run and if you still work in it then honey work it time they sent me their 20 inch natural kinky straight 360 um it's 130 percent density and it's pre-plugged so this is the glw 016 okay and you do get free shipping if you have um spent 99 dollars so i'm i bet you everybody's gonna get free shipping because i ain't never seen no no wig that goes cheaper than that but you know i had washed this wig last night i washed it it's very full i didn't even cut the lace up i just hung it to dry on a mannequin head and then i just took it off just now so i wanted to show you guys before i you know i cut the lace up so the combs there are combs in the front and then there's the comb and the adjustable strap in the nape and then they have like you know the parting space right here and then this all of this so it's like a 360 if you want to put it up in a bun and all of that good stuff you can do that with the 360 i mean heck to don't get me a lion. You could do it with any wig if you really want to. And I told y'all before, there is a wig cult. You know, if you're part of that wig cult, you know how to make it into a bun without it. You, it'll be a synthetic full wig. And you have that wig up in a bun, hun. Yes, there's a wig cult. I mean, like, not really a wig cult, but you know what I'm saying. Like, if you're part of that stuff, you know, cool stuff like that. Basically, if you know how to work a wig, then you're in a wig cult. Bottom line. So I'm pretty sure all you guys is in a wig cult, too. The first time I ever had any kinky hair, the very first kinky hair I ever freaking had. Well, it wasn't the first, but it was it was something like that. It was by Best Lace Wigs, but it it was I had to make the wig. They sent me bundles in a in a in a frontal. I mean, closure. Excuse me. I still have that wig. I wore it to death, and I still wear it. And it lasts really long time. It's still really good. Well, if you don't know how to make a wig, you can get your own but the first thing you need to do if you get a 360 or any lace wig is you need to cut the lace off so my suggestion to everybody and that's just me you don't, to, you don't have to go by my suggestion but this is my suggestion get yourself a small pair of scissors like don't be using no big old scissors to cut no lace off no wig because like the big scissors they're not um they're not curved these are curved small scissors you can get these anyway you can go to the dollar tree and get you some nice little small curved scissors you know they'll come with like a little medical kit or something like that they don't gotta be fancy honey so i would definitely highly suggest like using some small scissors when you want to cut the lace off all right so now that the lace is cut off the next thing i'm gonna do is i'm going to just take a little bit of my makeup concealer which is this one right here i call it my wig concealer um only because it like it has, gives me like good coverage and i'm going to place a little bit on this part that i made now here comes the fun part we're going to put this bad boy on i'm not really sure if i'm going to need any hair gel or anything but you know Stop all the clocks, I'll be with you you all think about Oh, 
think about you. talk about this hair so it's very soft of course it is kinky straight hair so it does resemble african-american hair now i'm not going to say it resembles it as is as in relax i would definitely say depending on your hair texture what type of hair you have it can resemble it as a blowout you know what i mean so it's super soft the, their hairline is very tweezed the only issue that i have is that so i was going to put the hooks in you know, little plastic hooks that you gotta put through the fabric. Did the elastic come off the hook? So I had to sew it back on. No big deal. That was the only issue I had. But if you don't know how to sew, it probably would be like a major concern to you guys. But it was just like a little mishap with the strap. I fixed that. So other than that, it's a little bit roomy. So if you have like more or less like a bigger sized head, um, I, I guess that would be the nicest way to put it. Then your head will definitely fit into this stock unit. So it is 18 inches. The one thing that I absolutely love about kinky straight hair, and you guys know I say this all the time because I have done a lot of kinky straight units. I like when you can just braid them. It doesn't even matter for me. Like I've done it with my closures. I've done it with my frontals. I've done it with a 360. Because the hair is so thick, I don't really like to curl it. I like to leave it in its natural state and wear it like this because I find this to look really, really nice and natural and it looks really relaxed. It looks easy going. It looks just like really realistic. So a lot of my kinky straight units, I don't put any curls to them. I'll just wear them like this, especially if it's nice and long. So if it's a little bit shorter, I definitely wouldn't but I really probably wouldn't get anything under 18 inches or you know what I'm saying because 16 is just like not long enough for me but so the hair is very, very full and it's very soft and the one thing about like I have done like many different types of um, kinky straight hair so meaning like you know some of them are like really rippled you know what I'm saying you can tell that the hair looks silky but then it's got like crimson or whatever you want to call it I mean which isn't too bad it still look nice you know and then there's some that looks just like kinky kinky hair like this one this one looks just like kinky hair it doesn't look silky so like I don't really like the ones that look silky I mean it's not that I don't like them they don't look bad but I really would prefer it to look more natural me personally I love kinky straight hair only because my hair texture is not like this and you know when you have hair texture like this you just have like a lot of hair and it's so full and pretty and to me it's like you can do whatever and like my daughters they all have hair like this so I'm kind of like envious of them and it just like holds like really good curls, etc. etc. Anyway, that's just my take on it. So as for the pre-plucked hairline, like I said, it's really nice. It melts. Um, I wish I wouldn't have did my own baby hairs, but you know, that's just my way of making it look natural and doing less work. That's just what I be doing. Okay. But definitely check out Best Lace Wigs. They got their 13 year anniversary. Like, dang girl, y'all been around that long? Like I'm saying. Anyway, you can definitely check them out. They have all types of hairs, and they've been around forever. I do like to work with them because they're good people. they always good to me, and they're always good to their customers. I don't really hear too many complaints. So, yes, definitely check them out. Happy anniversary to them. Everybody, I don't need to have an anniversary. Somebody love me, please. Somebody please. Love me. I love you guys. Stay diva and diva delicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs this video up because of course you love me as much as I love you. But also thumbs it up for Best Lace Wigs because they've been around for 13 years. What lace wig company? You know they've been around that long. At least you know that they've been around so long that you got some quality wigs. I mean, because 13 years, you got to have something going by yourself, right? So all the info for this wig will be below for you guys and any other information that I could think of. I love you and I'll see you in the next video.